The aim of promoting energy efficiency in public spaces came one step closer as three electric vehicle charging stations and 11 LED and 29 solar-powered LED parameter lights were installed at Queen's Hall. And according to Energy Minister and Acting Prime Minister Stuart Young, providing cleaner energy-efficient infrastructure while achieving energy savings has a huge advantage in the long run for the country. It shows us that any of the benefits of moving towards renewable energy have a knock-on effect in terms of cost. You're going to save on electricity consumption. And that domino effect also helps us to utilize the natural gas that we would use normally to produce electricity. We can sell those molecules of gas. He said the energy sector in TNT has come a long way in the past nine years, with one remaining issue on the agenda. Not only have we renegotiated contracts to ensure we get a better value for every molecule of gas, but we have also become more efficient in the utilization of that gas. We now have a higher shareholding in LNG. We have better returns with the gas that we're selling to pet chems, etc. So for me, the last remaining area is power generation. And the more efficient we can get into power generation, is the more we can turn around those molecules of gas as revenue. Chairman of National Energy, Dr. Joseph Kahn, said although the electric charging stations do not run on solar power, it is a balancing act. We recognize that the energy transition is not about a single solution. It's about an energy mix that balances practicality with progress. Natural gas, the cleanest of all fossil fuels, play a crucial role in this mix and will continue to do so for many years to come. He added that the installation of the solar-powered lights will have significant savings for the facility. The installation of the solar-powered LED lights around this facility's perimeter emphasizes our drive for energy efficiency using 75% less energy than traditional lighting systems. And Minister Young also urged National Energy to find a way to bring in revenue from these vehicle charging stations. So these three EV charging ports that have been positioned here at Queen's Hall, of course, my next question was, it's for free? So we can't find a way to charge people for using them? So expect that to be the next part of the challenge. This is the third EV charging station installed by the government in the country, following the one installed at the UWI St. Augustine campus, and others at the Prestal service station in 2021. Sonolala, TTT News.